Your skin is like, girl, let's go to the big boys party. So if you have sensitive skin, please do not do this one. No kids allowed over here, okay? Our dark skin loves it. You're feeling good. You're feeling it. Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. It's about all things skincare. Back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week although i've been a little mia but every week <laughs> talking about skincare all right you guys so today's video just jumping straight in to the video i have sort of made i think a video or two about this before but today's video is about exfoliators and skincare i've talked about exfoliators in detail i have told you guys what exfoliators are how they affect our skin all the different types of exfoliators that are currently in the market and i will link those videos up here also in the description box definitely check those out but today's video will actually be working you guys through some of the products that I have received in PR or just some of the products that I have that I have found to be just great adding on to my skincare routine. If you're looking for an exfoliator to sort of introduce into your skincare routine, especially if you have sensitive skin or just whatever your skin type is, there's something for you in those videos. So if you're interested in that, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Uh, just a really quick brief on exfoliators. Like I said, I already made a pretty detailed video or two about exfoliators, but um, pretty much exfoliators are ingredients that basically work on the surface of the skin. They don't really go into the skin. They work on the surface of the skin to slow dead skin cells that could be clogged in the pores. A lot of the times we have acne is because your skin is constantly renewing itself and sometimes those dead skin cells just are stuck on the surface of the skin and it starts to clog the pores. And when they clog the pores, it actually makes other ingredients not be able to penetrate into the skin. So when you add your serums and moisturizers, it's to just sit on the surface of the skin because these dead skin cells have blocked off the pores. So it's pretty important to make sure that you are getting your skin exfoliated every now and again. Two to three times a week is pretty amazing for a consistent skincare routine. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into these exfoliators. I'm gonna start with the ones that have a bigger molecule size because I found that those, especially for people of color like myself, just dark skin people, using exfoliators or HAs that have uh, bigger size particles are better for our skin type because they don't go too rapidly into the skin. Um, they actually take some time to start going into the skin cells um, and don't trigger, you know, hyperpigmentation. You guys know our skin is very likely to be uh, triggered when we have something that just acts maybe too quickly or just uh, starts to disrupt that skin structure. So we need something that's really gentle on that starting corneum on the skin surface. I'm going to start with our PHAs. PHAs are the biggest size as full liters. They go really slowly into the skin. From there we're going to work into lactic acid and then glycolic acid to end the video. Starting with the first product today is this one by Yes2 Skincare. So this Portion of the video is actually sponsored by Yes2, so thank you so much Yes2 for sponsoring this segment of the video. Yes2 Skincare has been creating products for over 15 years. They use over 95% natural ingredients in their skincare to help target real skin needs to give you real results. All of their products are clean and cruelty free. This product is the Brightening Treatment Serum. And this product is formulated with antioxidant rich grapefruit, vitamin C, and 5% PHAs. 5% is great because like I said, very easy to slowly go into that skin and not disrupt the skin's flora. So it's really, really amazing. PHAs appear on your ingredient list as gluconolactone, sometimes lactobionic acid, but mostly gluconolactone. This serum is great because it helps to improve skin texture. It also helps to, like I said earlier, slough off dead skin cells from the surface of the skin to prevent acne, especially for people with dry skin uh, that don't have clogged pores. This is really, really great. It's a large molecule size. Our dark skin loves it. Um, and also if you just have sensitive skin that easily gets triggered, definitely, definitely look into a PHA. So you apply two to two drops to clean face and neck. Make sure to avoid your eye area. Allow it to fully absorb before applying your moisturizer. Follow up with your SPF if you use it in the morning. You can find their products on the shelves of Target. Also the Kroger here in Texas carries their products as well. So definitely check them out. I I'm absolutely loving it. Following along the PHAs, I'm going to talk about this other PHA. This one is one by April Skin. And I know you guys are thinking, is this your brand? No. This is actually a K-Beauty skincare brand that was sent to me in PR. So it has both an AHA, glycolic acid, as well as PHA, like ES2 does. This one has 10% PHA, which is a little bit more of a dosage, but if your skin is, you know, not that sensitive. And even if you do have sensitive skin, this is actually still great. You also use this one the same way. It's a serum. Two to three drops after you have cleansed your face. Another one that also got sent to me is a sister product. This one's a PHA hyaluric acid peeling gel. So this one has PHA as well 
well as hyaluric acid. So this one actually has like a peeling effect. If you like sort of that peeling effect to so, sort of, you know, help break down, you want to like visually see what's going on. I know some people are very visual. I can be. Then this one would be your forte. I love K-Beauty skincare. You guys know I am a K-Beauty skincare junkie. Either of these two products will get you going. Definitely, again, use two to three times a week, especially for beginning, you know, by doing like a small test area because the last thing I want you guys to have is triggered skin or skin, you know, that gets worse because of something I recommended. So definitely start slow and work your way up. That's the key, y'all. That's actually the key. Okay, so next I'm going to go into the Inky List. Lactic acid from the Inky List. I love lactic acid. I actually use 12% for my dermatologist. So this one is 10% lactic acid and also has 1% hyaluronic acid, which is actually great because the gaslight hyaluronic acid is skin soothing. It softens the skin, helps the skin stay plump. Plus, lactic acid is an exfoliating acid, but it's the only exfoliating acid that's actually moisturizing. So it has moisturizing benefits to it, as well as actually exfoliating the dead skin cells. A few drops at night. Again, after you cleanse, very gentle but exfoliating and will give you that smooth textured skin that we're all looking for this summer season, okay? Okay, let's move on to my last product here. Okay, so next one is actually very new from Good Molecules. I got sent this one about two weeks ago now and I have been loving incorporating this one. This one is a toner. It's a 3.5% glycolic acid toner. This one is really great because 3.5%. I am very wary of glycolic acid. I'm very careful of recommending glycolic to people of dark skin especially because glycolic sometimes can be very tricky. I know that 7% toning solution. People always come at me for recommending that to dark people, but I don't have a problem with 7% glycolic. Honestly, up to 10%, I don't mind. Obviously, start slow, like I always say, and then work your way up because yes, we do not want to get triggered. Please start slow. If your skin tolerates it, increase the amount of times you use it throughout the week. If your skin tolerates it, then go higher in dosage, okay? This is 3.5%, which is actually not bad. For glycolic acid, this is the one aging with the smallest molecules. It can be easily triggering, but if you follow my instructions, <laughs> Follow my instructions, you will be fine. I really, really am enjoying this one. I've been using it since it sent it to me and I have not noticed any breakout or anything crazy on my skin. I've also talked about this on my TikTok as well and I am a fan. Thanks, good molecules. All right, last product here is this product by It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This one is a 10% glycolic acid. So we're, we're in the big guy section now. No kids allowed over here, okay? This one's a 10%, so it will be very it would be a lot not gentle on your skin so if you have sensitive skin please do not do this one start with the good molecules and if you feel good if you're feeling good you're feeling it and your skin is like girl let's let's go to the big boys party then definitely go up to this one by it cosmetics 10 percent with hyaluronic acid but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about exfoliators, please, please, please ask me or leave a comment below. But so far, I have been loving these ones. I hope you guys enjoyed my suggestions. I always get messages about not giving enough product suggestions. So I'm trying to incorporate more product suggestions because I know. I know it's tough out in these skincare streets because <laughs> it's like a new brand popping up every second. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these suggestions today. Again, thank you yes to Skincare for sponsoring a portion of this video. I will leave in the description box uh, all the details to shop yes to skincare. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you have not subscribed, definitely subscribe and join the family. We're all about skincare here and many, many more. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.